My name is Jim Sachi, president of the Peekskill Rotary Club this year. We're shooting here from Blue Mountain Park Reservation in Westchester County. This is where we normally hold our annual horse show. Because of the pandemic this year, we will be presenting a virtual horse show. Rotary International is an organization made up of 1.2 million business and community leaders. The Peekskill Rotary has been a part of Rotary International for 101 years. I'd like to introduce to you Louis Segarra. Louis is our president-elect this year and chairman of the virtual horse show. As Jim was saying, my name is Louis Segarra. I am the president-elect and chairman of the virtual horse show. This year is our 50th annual horse show and our first virtual horse show. Normally, we'll be accepting people coming in to our show for the various events that we have. But due to the pandemic, as Jim said, we had to be a little bit more creative. So this year, we've taken everything that's involved in the horse show and we've put it into a virtual horse show on our website. So we're gonna go piece by piece, show you where the events were held and where you can find them on our website. This is the entrance where cars would normally come up, join us for our raffles, buy a couple raffles and proceed to the events. Parking would take place this area here. Normally the cars are lined up and they will have to go to our second parking area due to the amount of people that we have. We estimate over 5,000 people come to our two-day horse show. Admission is free. We never charge for admission because of the community that we serve. Follow me and I'm going to show you all the different areas where we held our horse show and the great events that we did year after year. Now in this section, this is where our vendor booths start. They line up on both sides of the road and extend all the way down to where, right before our rink starts. A little bit farther over this hill is where we have our entertainment. We have musical performances, musicians, uh, comedians, storytellers for the kids. On the other side of the vendors, we have our face painting and pumpkin booths. Our entertainment section is run by the world-renowned Daisy Joplin. Um, she is in charge of getting all the musical performances. One of our vendors is Mr. Jim Witt. He is WHUD and our local weatherman. He would have definitely picked today to be a beautiful day. He works with the Hope For You Foundation as well, and he sells the calendars that depict the weather months and sometimes years in advance based on different scenarios, including the moon, the, the waves, tidal waves, the stars. He has this whole system down packed that helps us know when is the right time to do the horse show. So Jim, you would have been spot on as always. And normally this is where our country kitchen would be, country with a K. This is run by the spouses of the Rotary members, usually run by Mary Hook and Susan Feldman. They do an excellent job selling baked goods that are donated by the members or local uh, stores. We normally do a, a great deal of sales here. And one of the great things about it is that people always come in and just, this is where we meet each other again, talk about old times, taste really good food, and really do what Rotary is all about is give back to our community. So we're gonna miss them, but we do have recipes. We do have some cooking shows on the website that'll make it feel like you're almost back here. And right here is where we have our famous food tent. This is where the bulk of the Rotarians work. They start five, five o'clock in the morning, chopping the fresh vegetables. They're cooking sausages on the grill, hamburgers, hot dogs, grilling up or, or frying french fries, uh, hot pretzels. 
you name it, we have it here. And beer, of course. That's the one thing that's a staple here. Since we won't be able to serve you live food this year, a lot of our Rotarians have given us some recipes. You'll be able to find them on the food page on the site, download the PDFs, and enjoy some home-cooked meals on your own. In these two upcoming sections is our biggest draws for the kids. We have lines and people just standing in lines for quite a bit of time. It's our bouncy house. We normally have two of them, a slide, a ball pit. Kids just love, love it. They keep coming back over and over again, driving their parents crazy, but that's what it's all about, having a great time. This section over here is where we have the pony rides, one of the most favorites for all the kids. And we have a couple ponies that go round and round. Small kids, large kids, all love them. We're gonna miss seeing them because part of it is our members love to see the children having a great time or the whole community getting together and enjoying this because this is really all for them. It's the way we get together with them, bring them all out and the members themselves have a great time. So you're gonna miss that part of it, but hopefully we'll be back next year. And this is where the equestrian part of the horse show starts. This, the whole ring, the ring takes up this whole field here. Peekskill Rotarians start two days before the show, setting, the, setting up the ring manually. That's part of what makes our club so special is the camaraderie that, that we get out of working together to put this ring, make this, this show happen. The show we have on Saturday, we have English classes, and on Sunday, we have Western classes. Normally, we have a total of 28 classes put together for the whole show. All the ribbons for first, second, third place prizes. We have uh, silver for the winners of each class. Instead, this year, even though we can't be together, in person, we've still managed to come up with a virtual horse show. On the website, in the equestrian pages, you're gonna be able to see all the horse rider entries for both English and Western. And at the end of the day, you'll be able to see all the uh, winners. We have world-renowned judge, Kenneth Fairfax, judging this competition. Hi, I'm here with Harry Santiago, a long time attendee for many, many years to our horse show. Harry, can you tell us how you feel about the horse show not happening this year and what it's meant to you and your family over the last couple of years? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a favorite of ours. We look forward to this weekend, you know, every year we come out and uh, we enjoy the food. You know, we go shop with the vendors and I enjoy the beer. Kids love the horses and the activities. You know, it's, it's something for every, for all of us. Um, you know, we get to hang out with friends and it's always fun. It's always entertaining and there's so much to do. So we're, we are gonna miss that in person, but we're looking forward to it virtually and I'm sure we'll enjoy it just as much. Thank you, Harry. As you know, our community means the world to us. So we've been creative and tried to bring the whole show to you. So to you and to many of our viewers, I hope you enjoy the show. You know why we do this? Our community means the world to us.